Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Episode three, third installment of the uh, Darling River Run series. Uh, just left Mudawinji National Park. What a fantastic place that is. Uh, heading to White Cliffs. Uh, I'm on the dirt road now. Nearly had a uh, close call with a couple of bush chooks. Uh, had to like angle very slowly away from them uh, on the road doing about 70 or 80 k's an hour and they managed to just touch my mud guard and then run away so good bush chooks well done um yeah it's eight o'clock in the morning so fair bit of wildlife around um heaps of roos jumping out so i'm just being really cautious um making sure they go the opposite direction to me oh here's a big red right here now yeah keep going buddy good on you um, yeah, so we'll get to White Cliffs, we'll check back in then, see what we can get up to. Been a pretty cool drive. The road graded for the first hundred kilometres. It's fantastic. Um, like, absolutely perfect condition. Lots of wildlife and things to dodge, but apart from that, uh, pretty good. Um, yeah, we're 30 k's out of Whitecliffs now, and the road has just turned absolute crap. Um, I noticed there was a new Shire sign back there extended a different Shire, so they mustn't be on top of their grader at the moment. And uh, washouts and corrugations the whole first five kilometers so hopefully it gets better as we go along but you get closer to town but um, yeah it's fairly ordinary at the moment I just hit a massive hole before um, the caravan bouncing around belong but behind me but uh, I think she's all good anyway we'll see if we can make it So this is uh, White Cliffs. So I'm just out at Potch Gully, which is a little free camp just out of town. Um, no one else here, which is a bit freaky. But um, it's just a little toilet there in that red shed. And um, yeah, all the old workings up the hill here, which I'll do a bit of a scout around and try not to fall in any of those. <laughs>
こだよね Reckon I'm onto some. <laughs> wow. Check it out. Another bit there. Oh, look at that. It's got some colour. Can you see that? Struck it rich. Making up a bit of a wrap、um, for lunch. Could eat that before the flies get it. There's plenty of them around. For some reason they're not landing on it. No, it's a good sign or not. <laughs>、um, I'm、um, yeah, pretty lucky to find a couple of little bits then out in the field. Obviously, I'm not going to be retiring anytime soon on those, but、um, yeah, nice to find a couple of bits. It's pretty hard to do, I'm told.、Um, I, I've decided to make a move though. I'm going to head to the,、um, back to the Darling River. There was a campground I was planning to stay at on the way here. Near、um, Wilcania, which、uh, free camp on the river, meant to be pretty awesome, but just didn't work out timing wise. I had to get to my national parks booking at m u r u w i n j i so I didn't stop there. But、um, opportunity to stay there now rather than here. It's an hour and a half drive, it's only one o'clock or something, so get there comfortably and then、um, spend the afternoon next to the river again, which is what I really want to do. I came, I conquered the White Cliffs Opal Fields, so time to move on. I'll jump in the car after we've had a bit of a chew and get back into it. Just left w i l c a n i a on the way to on the Menindi Road.、Um, the whole trip from White Cliffs to w i l c a n i a was bitumen and pretty boring, and this bit's bitumen as well. I'm assuming it'll turn back into dirt soon.、Um, Darling River's just out to my left here.、Um, got a little free camp. It's only 20 minutes away, 15 minutes away,、um, sort of 25, 30 k's out of town, out of Wilcania.、Um, it's supposed to be pretty good, sandy banks apparently. So we'll pop in there tonight and see what we can see, and then,、um, yeah,、uh, on to、um, Menindi Lakes from there, I think. Check in when I get to the campsite. No, it wasn't too long, I'm back on the dirt. It's good.、Um, just thinking I'm going to have a bit of a cook up tonight in the fire, so. Knowing that it's a free camp, it's probably going to be stripped bare.、Um, so I'll take the opportunity to pull over before we get to the free camp and grab some wood and、um, chuck it in the back of the ute. So we've got someone to get there tonight. See what we can find. This is where I just pulled up. I think this is like an oxbow lake billabong that's formed after a flood. This whole area has been flooded. I think the Darling River is over there a bit further, so I might just go for a wander and see if there's、um, a better spot.、Um, massive carp just jumping out of the water here. This will be full of them, I can imagine. Maybe some yabbies too. Uh, there's wheel tracks going through here that have led to over here, so I'm just going to check that out and come back to the car in a second. That's the spot. 
It's even chopped firewood. <laughs> Glad I got that other stuff. Yeah, this is me. Clear air above. Just going to do a bit of a cross country mission. That's all pretty dry. So I think we should be good. The car's way over yonder. I've walked about 500, 600 metres. best camp so far on the trip. Beaches Paddock, I think it's called. You can imagine it would have been pretty rough when this is all underwater. Um, don't park under trees. <laughs> that one's just come down recently. Uh, I'd be pretty unlucky for one to fall in this direction. I've got a fair clearance there. I reckon that all drop straight down and miss me by a mile. Um, clear skies above. Yeah, looking pretty good. I reckon the opportunity now is to try and catch some yabbies. I forgot to get meat, but I do have some hamburgers there that I um, can push into a shape that would sit in the net neatly and then, yeah, lob them in down here. Might throw a line in with some bait on it too. Well, I lost the last lure I had hooked it on a snag, so I've got another one of those, but let's um, give bait fishing a go. Jesus, it's been almost your launch point from a boat. A little bit steep getting it out, but not impossible. Another reason I need to get a winch on my ute. Okay, yabby time. I've got these burgers I bought the other night. I need to eat soon, but not tonight. Um, I'll chuck one of those in. What I'm thinking is, I've got this, which has got a lot of holes in it. I'll wrap the burger in that and then I can tie it in there and they won't steal it. Otherwise I'll just pull it and it'll come straight off the zip tie that I'm going to put on it. Hopefully that works and it lasts a bit longer. Uh, I threw in a bit of meat in the last spot I stopped at and it was stolen in about five seconds. A bit of sausage actually. So we won't do that again. Um, we'll run this one down and see how it goes. I mean, have you ever seen a more beautiful place? Seriously considering staying two nights. Alrighty, tonight on the menu, what are we going to do? Fantastic backdrop. I'm not sure the food matters when you're looking at that, but we're going to give uh, campfire nachos a bit of a crack. We've got some CCs. These have been kicking around in the back of the van for I don't know how long, so there could be just a big pile of dust in there, but we'll see how we go. Um, bit of meat. So we're going to cook up some mince, we'll chuck in some uh, taco seasoning, uh, a bit of onion in that as well. Do that in the campfire um, in the camp oven. Cook that off. Take it out of the camp oven. Chuck in the CCs. And douse them in uh, cheese. Put a bit of heat on top. Melt the cheese. Get them rocking. Get it off the fire. Grab the mince out of the container after it's been cooked. Put that on top. Make a bit of guacamole. A bit of sour cream. Job done. Well, that's the plan anyway, so we better get cooking because we're going to lose light pretty soon, won't be able to film. Thank you. 
thought I cooked the meat on the lid actually. There's enough room in that just to fry that off. So we'll do that. And then um, we can use the, the big pot for uh, melting the cheese on the onto the um, Doritos. CCs. snuck down and checked the uh, trap and it's got a heap in it so um i've actually got another yabby pot a different style one in the van um so i might chuck that in a bit later too but i just went and grabbed the bucket and chuck them in some water and uh, see how we go look at them all they're a decent size not monsters but they're pretty big definitely edibles that little one there might be end up being a cod target. So here we go. Some water in this bucket. Without falling in. Ooh, sticky and slippery. Check them for eggs. If they've got eggs, I'll just throw them back. No, we're not for a feed. Bit of an entree, maybe for lunch tomorrow. Not sure. fish jumping out there. Uh, he's a little, little little bit small, might throw him back. He's not gonna let go. We'll go the old school method. There we go. Chuck him back in. Lots of splashing. Big fat old carp, I'd imagine. Um, halfway through cooking dinner, so I won't grab the um, rod just yet. Might do a morning sesh with the rod and see how we go with it. Meat's browned off. I won't say it's the highest quality meat I've ever seen. It's more like sausage mids. I was chucking a bit of tin tomato before we chuck in the um, taco seasoning. Alright, a bit of taco seasoning and I'll let that set in and re reckon we'll be done. Alright, let's make a bit of guac, guacamole. Um, we'll just have that open as well for a bit of the sour cream addition later on. Um, don't have any lemon. I've got lots of knives and forks though. Right, um, just while that meat's finishing, I keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. Um, this really, really ripe avocado. We can make a bit of guac. I don't have any lemon, unfortunately. Lemon would be good in it. Put a bit of sour cream in there for good measure. Uh, I think I've got some Tabasco. I do. Chuck a bit of that in. Why not? Might 
Oh, that was probably too much. The beauty of it being too ripe is it's really easy to mash. All right, let's check out this cheese. Let's see how it's rocking. Yeah, I reckon it's probably good enough. Maybe a little bit longer would be nice. What do you reckon? It's definitely melted. I'm bloody starving, so maybe we'll just go with it. You now the trick is to get it from there under the chopping board. Could end very badly. Turned out okay. Uh, do I leave it on the paper? No, let's take it off. All right. A little bit of meat on top. Good. The guac. Sour cream. Let's give it a go. Oh, a bit of Tabasco. Before I smash it, let's look at it. Pretty happy with that. Bit of that, bit of that. Spot on. I'm going to smash that now. <laughs> 